For the latest film interviews, reviews and everything making news in pop culture, subscribe to Film Companion now. Jati Ratnalu loosely translates into jewels of the nation in Telugu. That descriptor is ironic. The three friends it refers to are far from it. Shrikant Ravi and Shekhar are slackers, desperate to escape the confines of their small town, Jogipet. They long for the big city and the respect it brings, especially if you have a job that hangs an identity card around your neck. Led by Shrikant, who convinces his father to give him two months to make something of his life, the three head to Hyderabad. But instead of landing jobs, they find themselves embroiled in a murky political controversy which involves corrupt ministers, a cell phone with an incriminating video and bribes of hundreds of crores. They must now extricate themselves from the mess and also ensure that Shrikant's love story with their neighbour Chitti stays on track. All of this plays out with outlandish humour that doesn't flag despite the film's daunting duration of 2 hours and 28 minutes. Writer-director Anudeep K.V. stitches together a sparkling comedy that's cheerfully silly without being lazy. The chemistry between the three will remind you of Three Idiots and the absurd plot of Jane Bido Yaro. The narrative veers into nonsensical but the inspired lunacy keeps it afloat. The jokes keep coming and they almost always land. So Shrikant, who pretends that he can speak English fluently, says lines like, I'm also a responsible citizen cane of this country. Or, according to Indian constipation, I'm still uncriminal till proof. There's a hilarious thread about Ravi's love interest, a woman he's never met. The two have painfully banal conversations but with great passion and refuse to hang up on each other. When Chitti's disapproving father angrily asks Shrikant if he's ever heard of a PhD, Shrikant says, I've heard the letters, but separately. Into the Laughs, Anudeep threads in social commentary. The film touches upon the lack of opportunity in small towns, the dazzle of the big city which ultimately proves hollow, the venality of politicians and their rabid ignorant followers who will do anything to keep them in power. The three friends are, as Shrikant says, good people who tell small lies. They just want a slice of the shiny consumerist dream reflected in the tall buildings and swanky offices of Hyderabad. There's a lovely moment in which Shrikant, sitting with Chitti, tells somebody on the phone that he'll call him later because right now he's at the Taj Banjara. And then he says gleefully he always wanted to drop that line. Banjara Hills, the posh locality of Hyderabad, is a symbol of the good life which Shrikant aspires to. At one point he declares, I will be a Banjara Hills son-in-law. But eventually, the boys discover that Jogi Pet offers something that Hyderabad perhaps never will – warmth, familiarity, home. The actors – Naveen Polishetti as Shrikant, Rahul Ramakrishna as Ravi and Priya Darshi as Shekhar are terrific. The film might be purposefully absurd, but they're playing it straight, which adds to the laughs. Shrikant is a charming everyman. His yearning for something better in life than his father's bangles shop in Jogi Pet is instantly relatable. But do keep an eye on Ravi. The drunk in the trio. There's a laugh out loud moment in which the cops administer a narco test on the three boys, but it doesn't fully work on Ravi because he proudly says he drinks so much. Thankfully, the script doesn't relegate the heroine to a glamorous entry in two songs. Chitti, played by the lovely debutante, Faria Abdullah, is pivotal in resolving the mess the boys find themselves in. Through the film, Anudeep also pays homage to the movies and how they shape our lives and dreams. It's apparent that this is a film made by a film fan. For too long now, the film industry has peddled mindless comedies or what we call Dimag Nikal Ke Dekho Cinema. These are shoddily made movies in which anything goes because the audience isn't supposed to ask any questions. Jati Ratnalu isn't big on craft or logic either, but the intelligence and hard work shines through. The film shows us that laughter and brains aren't mutually exclusive. In the 1941 classic Sullivan's Travels, a film director named Sullivan, who's keen to make this serious and important film, discovers through a series of misadventures the importance of comedy. He says, There's a lot to be said for making people laugh. Did you know that's all some people have? It isn't much, but it's better than nothing in this cockeyed caravan. Exactly. Jati Ratnalu is the infusion of good cheer you need right now. You can watch the film on Amazon Prime Video. For more reviews like this, subscribe to Film Companion and don't forget to check out our website filmcompanion.in.